Treasury Secretary of the United States of America. The most powerful job in finance. And the next person to do it will be Janet Yellen. In this new role, she will be responsible for US economic policy, tax policy, fiscal policy, as well as managing government debt. Obviously, this is a key position for those of you living in the United States. But it's also a key position for those of you outside of it because of the massive role the dollar and US economy play in the global economy. After all, stimulus in the US often leads to higher exports in the rest of the world. So with Janet Yellen being confirmed by Congress shortly, it makes sense that you wonder who is Janet Yellen? What are her qualifications? And most importantly, what can we expect from her tenure as Treasury Secretary? Hi, I'm Yuri, and in this video, I will answer all of these burning questions. Janet Yellen was born just after the Second World War in New York City. Her parents were Jews of Polish descent. Her mom was an elementary school teacher and her father a physician. Very humble beginnings indeed. But after that, things quickly started to become less humble. She finished her bachelor cum laude at Brown University and went on to do a PhD in economics at Yale where she specialized in labor economics and macroeconomics. She had some extremely impressive mentors during this time. For example, her doctoral advisor was Nobel winner James Tobin and her academic advisor was Nobel winner Joseph Stiglitz. After her PhD, she first started teaching at Harvard and then got a job at the Federal Reserve as an economist. There she met her husband, George Akerlof, who would also later win a Nobel Prize in economics. Together, they moved to London where she would teach at the London School of Economics. And after that, she started teaching at the University of California, Berkeley, where she is still an emeritus professor. Now I had a little peek at her publication record and I have to say it is extremely impressive. She has published multiple papers in some of the world's most prestigious journals such as the Quarterly Journal of Economics, American Economic Review and the Journal of Monetary Economics. With an international track record like that, I'm not at all surprised that she was asked by President Bill Clinton to join the Federal Reserve Board of Governors. After landing that impressive job, things only got better for Yellen. First, she was the chairwoman of the US government's Council of Economic Advisors and later for the Economic Policy Council of the OECD. After that, she became president and chief executive officer of the Federal Reserve Bank of San Francisco. The next step for her was to become vice chair of the Federal Reserve Board and then after that, Finally, she got the top position of Federal Reserve Chairwoman in 2014, until she was replaced by the current Fed Chairman, Jerome Powell, in 2018. Then after that, Yellen did what so many top central bankers do in the United States, and that is join the Brookings Institute, which is one of the most prestigious economic think tanks in the world. Also, and this landed her in a bit of hot water recently, she started doing paid speeches for Wall Street banks. For this, she reportedly got paid well over $7 million. Giving speeches after you leave a job is perfectly illegal, so it's not corruption. So then why was this controversial? Well, for two reasons. First, these were the institutions that she was supposed to regulate in her old job. But here I think that doing a speech for a company is not the same as working for them. For example, her predecessor, Ben Bernanke, started working for a big hedge fund right after his Fed job. I think this is much sketchier. The second reason is that this plays into the narrative that people go into government just to make big money in the private sector later. But while I think that this should be addressed in general, it's hard to make this case for Yellen since she has served the public all her life and is now choosing a way lower salary again by becoming treasury secretary. But all in all, reading up on Yellen, I have to say that I was extremely impressed. Her CV is incredible and she's probably the most qualified treasury secretary ever. 
But now on to the most important bit. What is Yellen likely to do as Treasury Secretary? To answer this question, we need to know a little bit about how Yellen thinks. First, it is well known that Yellen is a Keynesian economist. This means that she believes in government stimulus during a recession. However, so far, she has mainly come out in support of central bank support rather than increased government spending. But Yellen is very much part of the economic elite and in these circles there has been a general shift towards the view that monetary policy alone is not enough and that more government stimulus is needed. Unlike her predecessor though, her stimulus is less likely to be in the form of tax cuts and more likely to be in the form of additional spending. At the Federal Reserve, Yellen was also known as a monetary policy dove. This means that she was often in favor of plenty of monetary policy support in the form of low interest rates and quantitative easing. Also during this period, she seems very willing to tolerate inflation if that would lead to lower unemployment. So I guess that after the massive pandemic, she will be a dovish treasury secretary as well, being willing to spend more. The other thing we know about Yellen is that she doesn't have full faith in financial markets. In the past, she has argued against repealing the tough rules for Wall Street banks that had been put in place after the 2008 financial crisis. Also, when there was a massive housing bubble in 2006 and most economists were in denial, she was warning against it. This tells us that she's probably going to be tough on Wall Street and big business especially compared to her Trump-era predecessor Steve Mnuchin. So that was the story of Janet Yellen. She definitely has the qualifications for the job and I expect that she will be a dovish treasury secretary. So I'm expecting plenty of stimulus. Is that indeed what we need right now, both in and outside of the US? Let me know in the comments. Finally, if you liked this video, consider supporting my efforts by leaving a like or even better by subscribing.